The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Community Services. Abdul Abdi came to Canada at the age of six as a refugee from Somalia. When he was seven, he was removed from his home, and while in the care of the Department of Community Services, he was shuffled between 31 different group and foster homes. During the entire time Mr. Abdi was in the province's care, the department failed to apply for citizenship on his behalf. When his aunt tried to apply for citizenship for Mr. Abbey, she was barred from doing so. It was the province's responsibility to apply for his citizenship, and because of the department's failures, Mr. Abdi is now facing deportation to a country he has not lived in since he was a toddler. Mr. Speaker, will, uh, given the Department of Community Services' failure to appropriately care for Mr. Abdi, will the minister take immediate action to advocate against the deportation of Mr. Abdi? The Honourable Minister of Community Services. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And as the honourable member knows, I'm unable to speak to any specific cases uh, in this House. We do not confirm whether someone was in the care of DCS or not, and, and, and that's the law, quite frankly. But I do want to assure the honourable member that uh, we do take this matter seriously. We do, we, in the past, we have had a practice of applying for citizenship. Uh, we are now changing that into a policy. It has come up, it's an, a situation that has come up very rarely, Mr. Speaker. We also have the, the ability, Mr. Speaker, to extend a, a child's care in the care of the minister in a case where it's discovered that that has not happened, that uh, citizenship has not been applied for. And I want to assure the honourable member we would always take any steps possible to make sure that that young person uh, gets the citizenship applied for. Thank you. The honourable member for Dartmouth North. Mr. Speaker, we don't know how many other children are in this situation as we speak. The, de the Deputy Minister of Community Services has admitted that the department still has no policy specific to children who are not citizens, and given, uh, despite what the minister has just said, uh, they don't expect to address this issue until 2019. Mr. Speaker, will the minister explain why her department refuses to make the necessary changes to prevent children in their care from facing deportation as adults, and could she address what she can do now to help uh, Abdul Abdi, thank you. The Honourable Minister of Community Services. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question, and I, I would note that when we extend uh, uh, the care of a child uh, past the age of majority so that they can remain in our care while uh, citizenship is applied for, we, we can't force anyone to do anything, Mr. Speaker. I do want to, to assure the Honourable Member that uh, our government has been in contact with the federal government on this particular case, and I want to assure her we have done, uh, we have done everything possible to assist. Thank you.